Hi, Dr. Mary here, and we're going to look at <clears throat> muscle testing today. And it was suggested to me that now that many years have gone by since my original muscle testing video, I do a new one, and here it is. Now with muscle testing, we're using channels, electrical channels, coming through our electrical system, which you can imagine is like your nervous system or their meridians um, <clears throat> that travel through acupuncture and acupressure points within the body. We have channels. And in muscle testing, I use a method with my hands that I learned from Michelle Smallwright and her um, Paralandra business. And you should check her out, paralandraltd.com. Amazing co-creative science with nature, the scientist. And so when I learned this, it made a lot of sense to me co-creative, that we are connecting with our systems of energy. And then you might be connecting um, with a guardian angel or a spirit guide or um, your dad who passed on and communicates with you. So that's up to you. First thing we do is we connect in light. And there's, we could do that in a number of ways. I'm going to just tap my bowl. Let the creator light emerge. May it grow and expand. I ask my guides and teachers to be present and for truth and accuracy, love and healing to be obtained in the highest good of all. Thank you. Now we're going to do something with our hands. I write with my right hand, and so I consider that to be my dominant hand. And with it, I'm going to put my index finger and my thumb together like this. Then on my left hand, very relaxed hand for me, I am going to press my thumb, oops, let's get in, and my pinky finger together. And with this, I am forming an opening. And with these, my writing hand with my thumb and index finger together, I am going through the opening. See, I go through there. And then, depending on the answer, a yes or no, I give equal pressure. This would be a yes, where the fingers in our opening don't come apart with equal pressure from the way we've like penetrated it with our question. And a no looks like this. It's equal pressure, but the fingers of that left hand just fly apart. Why? Well, your body, your inner knowing, and your inner wisdom is communicating with you through this method. And you may be aware, you know, of the way other things come to you, you know, like um, you'll hear something and realize, wow, you know, your mind takes it in. It's like really special. And then your skin will light up, you know, like that feeling of, of goosebumps all over. You become electrified. So if anyone ever says, what electrical system? I mean, come on, we're experiencing these things all the time. And these are channels. This completes a channel. The pinky and the little finger completes an electrical current and the same thing here with the thumb and forefinger. So this is where the equal pressure comes in. So how do you go about figuring out equal pressure and so forth? Well what I like to do is just start out with things I know. Like I know my name. So I make a statement. My name is Mary. Yes. My name is John. No. 
Now, you could say I'm manipulating that and so forth for the camera, but why bother? You know, I'm trying to teach you something. So try that out. Um, and you could ask about the weather or make statements. Those things that are true, you won't be able to break your opening. You won't be able to do it. And for those things that are false, it'll come apart very, very easily. Now, this is used, muscle testing is used through, it's called, it's kinesiology. It's used throughout sports medicine. It's used in all kinds of energy medicine. And um, I love the teachings of Dr. David Hawkins. Um, power versus force, the eye of the eye. Um, these were books that he, just an incredibly well-known and successful psychiatrist in Manhattan, who, interestingly enough, grew up in Wisconsin and had these interdimensional experiences where he was clearly aware um, of other dimensions and happenings. And he went off um, on a study of using muscle testing and developing a chart um, that he called the map of the scale of consciousness, um, which I love and use all the time. You should check out his books if you're interested in this kind of thing where he developed this logarithmic scale. So how can you use muscle testing? You could test anything for its life-enhancing properties because um, this is what you're looking for. If it's life-enhancing, you get a positive response. The opening stays with the fingers together. Whereas if something is not life-enhancing, fingers will come apart. So you could do this. I, th I really liked learning muscle testing as I was starting to test food um, at a particular time in my life. And I'm in, you know, grocery stores and so forth. So there's the pendulum. We could, you know, get out a pendulum and be dousing, you know, like in the produce department and so forth. Or now I'm not one that I don't want to draw a lot of attention to myself. So I preferred this and I could choose and learn what was life enhancing for me in that way. So muscle testing is something to develop your confidence in. On your non-dominant hand, pinky and thumb together, pressing with the same amount of pressure that you have putting your thumb and index finger together with your writing hand. In we up. And then determining equal pressure. I'm in California. Nope. I'm in Wisconsin. Yes. This sort of thing. Now, I've been doing this for a long time. So again, I'm showing you, but you want to practice with it. And if you have other methods that you use, like I'm all over pendulum dowsing, and we have uh, plenty of um, learning to do with that. But this, I think the two are so complementary. So I encourage you to, to do both. Let's do it.